Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome y'all to the show. I want to get into an article that Sister Pebble sent me, and you know, here on Verbal Pick Radio, we have a lot of people that's out there in the field uh, that gather information and gather articles. Uh, some do video, some take pictures for the show, and we appreciate everybody that helps this show be the success that it is. I want to get into an article uh, coming from Fox 26 Houston um, that was sent to me by Sister Pebbles. Um, It states that HPD officer under internal investigation and relieved of duty after racist social media rant, right? At the death of uh, George Floyd, this thing was published, I guess, about four days ago. Houston, Fox 26 has learned a Houston police officer officer is under investigation for what some consider a racist rant on social media. Sergeant Rob Klassen, a 25-year veteran now, with HPD, wrote a lengthy Facebook post about why blacks are in such bad condition. Wait a minute. Just blacks in a hole, we just in a just a terrible condition. Okay, we in a terrible condition. First, who put us in that terrible condition? How did we get in that terrible condition? And who's the gatekeeper that's trying to prevent every uh, attempt from black people to get up out from under that terrible condition? Who has the knee on our neck, as the Rev. good Rev. Al Sharpton stated, right? Sergeant Class, 25-year veteran HPD, he wrote the link, the lengthy Facebook post on why blacks are in such a bad condition. Classen also gave them instructions on how to fix their problems now. This is a white guy, cop, giving instructions. We're just going to read some of them on how to fix uh, the problems in the black community, right? Because he, he, he's an expert. He knows, right? Black men, go find your kids. Support them and be a dad, not just a father. Show your children there is a future in the world outside of your hood. Now, one, wait, let me read two. Let me read two. Pull up your pants and go get a job and let your kids see you going to work and start looking at your woman as partners, not your mothers. Three. Black women, you ladies should get medals, right? Because the responsibility of child rearing and earning a living has fallen upon your shoulders, right? Four, expect more of your men and make them earn you. Black women, if he's not helping raise his children, earning a paycheck, helping with the bills, if he doesn't feed you or at least himself, you don't have a man, you have a pet, you deserve better. School, stop blaming the teachers. Stop scaring your kids. The cops aren't out to kill them. They're here to help and protect them. White people don't hate them, and nobody's out to get them. Yet we see every day on the news, white officers, racist officers, we learn the history of racism in America, mainly conducted by white men in the United States of America, but yet this cop, 25-year vet, Klassen, he states that, hey, man, there's no problems, nothing to see here. Now, Klassen, instead of uh, doing an op-ed piece on the black community, why don't you fix the trailer parks? Why don't you fix the hill, your people, the hillbillies up in Virginia and uh, in the mountains in Tennessee and Kentucky, and why don't you straighten them out? Why don't you fix the trailer trash that I had the opportunity of going into and seeing how they live, and 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 you see uh, these barefooted, no shirt on, uh, looking like the scum of the planet Earth who needs all the help that they can. They're dumb and they're illiterate, but yet you feel like you got something to say on fixing the black community. Now, you state that you used to patrol in the northeast side of Houston. Why wouldn't you patrol in your own neighborhood and let black cops patrol in black neighborhoods? 
You know, what 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 is that? What is that all about? Why don't you fix the the ratchet condition of your people? Because more white people are on welfare than black people. Why why don't you state those facts? Why don't you state the fact of the of the police brutality on the fact that you have to have two separate police unions because the white union was so racist? Black folks had to go create their own police union. Why don't you talk about things that really matter instead of your opinion on how you think the black community should conduct itself versus the trailer park trash white community that's all over America in the way that they live? That's hypocritical. But let's get some more. Stop voting for Democrats and make them earn your vote. They're not going to save you. They're not going to help you, and they're going to do everything in their Go down. I guess it's that right. Oh, everything in there. Well, we'll finish it. To stop voting for Democrats, okay, make them earn your vote. They're not going to save you. They're going to help. They're going. They're not going to help you, and they're going to do everything in their part to keep you on the victimhood plantation by continuing to preach the three pillars of the Democratic Party platform, which is victimhood, dependency, and blame. Now, I agree with him on that. Republicans are Democrats. Right? Black folks have been suffering under both parties. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. But, wait, you saying dependency? Didn't we just say more whites on welfare than black people? That, what about the $5 Indian that the, uh, you all lied and tried to say that you all were Indians so you can uh, get in, in doing the census so you can get government aid? I mean, all the tricks of the trade, but yet black folks learn from your people. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You, you, you think that you writing this op-ed as if white people's hands are clean. And, and 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 every unfortunate incident that occurred towards black people just so happened to just fall out the sky, and you don't know what unless you are illiterate and you and you didn't study the facts. That might be what it is. You 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 really haven't read anything, or 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 you so ashamed of the situation that your people are in that you don't want to address that, and it's easier to use black people as a scapegoat and. You know, that's what it is. Stop saying we and start saying I. The black race was not killed in Minneapolis by eight uh, 800,000 cops. It was one man and mostly one cop. Stop believing the false narrative that every time a black person is killed by the police justifiably now or on the race occasion unjustly, that it's always about race. Now, look, first of all, my God, why don't you do research and find out how the Fraternal Order of Police even started. It started 1701 in slavery from catching runaway slaves, and that was all about race. And you got race soldiers pretending to be cops right in every uh, precinct. Right. So now you're trying to control the narrative, but the day and time for that is over with. You can't control the narrative. It's impossible. The history is written in blood. We got case after case after case after case after case. It's not that we knew to this. See, what you feel understand, we always knew this, but we were just given time, hopefully, that you all would understand and change your ways, showing that, hey, we mean you no harm. We just want to live. We want to have freedom. We have, want to have justice, and we want to have equality. If we can't get that, then okay, we're in the hell with it. You know, now you see what you see playing out in every major city across America. Right. Yeah. Think about that. Right. Okay. Now, first he says, finally, no one is, is out. Finally, no one is out. Well, basically to get you and no one is out to keep you down. If America is trying to keep black people down, she's doing a horrible job of it. So look in the mirror and tell yourself you're going to try and be a better person than you were yesterday. And if <laughs> you fail, there's always tomorrow. That's what I do. And 
And it's what I teach my children to do. Not, 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 not white uh, supremacy. Uh, not uh, white privilege. No, you don't teach them that, do you? No, you don't. You don't teach them uh, about uh, the first Black Wall Street and how it was burnt down. You don't teach the ugly history of what your people did to blacks in America. You don't teach all the treaties that your people broke. None of that. I bet you don't tell Trent anything about that. Not at all. No, you don't. No, you don't teach that. You you know you bias. You teach what you feel that they need to know to keep them in that supremacist mindset. Okay. Now I want to. He said something about. Okay, here we go. You know who hasn't changed the poor black communities we serve. In 1995, I trained at Northeast in heavily black neighborhoods, and I saw murder, drug dealing, rampant prostitution, absentee fathers, illiterate kids, run-down schools, and adults with no spirit, no drive, and no will to leave these neighborhoods. Fast forward to 2020, and the only thing that has changed is now black guys wear their pants below their ass. That's it. The same crime, the same illiterate kids, the absentee fathers, the drugs, and the mayhem. Now, look at the proportion of money that's allocated to black school versus the proportion of money allocated to white school. Systemic racism. He's so illiterate, he don't even understand what systemic racism is. Right? Now, what, what, now, what, wait a minute. Whoa. If there was no jobs and say the black woman wound up on any government aid, the black man had to leave the house. Why, who would even put that kind of law into play if you knew the importance of having a black father at home? Right? Uh, pulling up, pulling up the pants. Right. No spirit, no drive. Whatever. Oh, you didn't address the fact that when blacks start moving into the neighborhoods, the businesses moved out due to racism. Or maybe you don't understand that. Maybe it's a lot you that you don't understand. And maybe you're just that's why they're calling it a racist piece, because I know scholars are reading this saying, I can't believe this idiot. Uh, put this, posted this on his Facebook page, and now it's on Fox News, and everybody's saying, who is the idiot that wrote this without facts? You're just spewing, uh, basically, through a lens, and you're showing your racism through the lens on how you view the world. You don't see systematic or systemic racism. You, you didn't even mention none of that because that's white privilege. You don't see it. That's why you can write an article such as this. That's why you can talk what, well, about what you teach your children. That's why you cannot bring up the po white trailer trash throughout America with the dumb, illiterate kids. And some of these uh, white communities don't even have electricity. Some are so backwards. They up in the hills living like it's in a, a 1700s. Right. And you know some, and you can't tell me you being a white man on a police force for 25 years never encountered a white racist from one of these small racist towns, especially here in Texas. But I bet you're not going to put that in the article. Right? Now, one other thing before we get out of here, right? Two black men in the California found hung. One black man here in Houston in the Heights area, Shady Dale, was found hung. Okay. 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 We're going to address it because this is a tough, this is a tough um, topic to address, right? But, okay. Okay. It got to be addressed, so you know, no problem. We'll do that. We'll do that. But, but I want to I wanna warn you all. That it's a tough, tough thing to discuss. It really is. Simply because, wow, man, you know, the stuff we go through, you know, it's 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 it's, it's ridiculous. But that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna get into it, right? Okay. Now, black men. 
your father, your grandfather, their grandfather, their grandfather, and beyond. Lived in a time where lynching of black people um, was going on like like regularly, right? It's so to the fact that they still trying to fight to put an anti-lynching bill to get it passed through the Senate. Because the lynching bill is still on the books today. America the brave, the free, but still in 2020 fighting to remove the federal law of lynching. Now, come on, man. It's, I mean, you can't write this stuff, right? Now, it's true. It, it, it's such a hard topic to discuss because you had so many black leaders who died for the sake of peace or or through their energy and their life and their spirit on the table of mercy, of justice, saying, hey, I'll, I'm willing to give my life for peace if you just grant us this peace to live and exist as human beings in peace. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So now we reached a point to where everything's bought over and people are saying that's it, no more. Now all of a sudden you have a, a lynching. Black man found hung near a store in the Heights and they're saying suicide but yet there's further investigation going on which come on how many how many generations have we heard that a black man would been hung from a black woman Sandra Bland hung in the cell black man hung or murdered killed in the cell and they said I was suicide and we know and they family know there no damn suicide hell I just talked to them but yet you know since they control the media they control the judges they control the police department they can spin it and what have you, right? But I'm telling you, you need to start working out. Do you buy 50 push-ups a day, 100 sit-ups, get you a legally uh, knife that you got in your pocket, and if you see two white men approaching you or racist approaching you, I already have it, uh, the blade open while it's in your pocket. And if they try to grab you, you work out on their ass and get to slicing. Save yourself is what I'm saying. Because the reason why they was lynching and killing so many black people is because we wanted, when they approached us, we wanted to be diplomatic. And, hey, let's talk this. Don't kill me. Like George Floyd was saying, hey, don't kill me. Let's, let's talk this thing through because I don't want to. I don't want to channel. I don't want to channel the energy that it takes for me to become that person to kill another human life. So can we talk this thing out first? Because I don't want that spirit in me. Because once it's in me, then okay, it's on. And do America and do society and do white folks? Do y'all really want that? Do y'all do y'all want to? Do y'all really want an incident like that where then your, your children got to grow up without a father? Your wife has to grow up without a father. Do y'all really want a, a situation such as that? But okay. So get you something legal. Legal tonight. And I already have it open in your pocket when they were just open. Don't let them don't let them see you open it up. Just have it in your pocket. And when they put their hands on you, you get slicing away. All blacks that's able to get a concealed handgun license, get your concealed handgun license. Because when they come approach you, start firing. Because you'd rather take it to the judge than be buried on the ground. Because their intent, and it's obvious, and it's being shown, their intent is not to come talk to you, not to come sit down and have a beer with you. Their intent is to come kill you. And your children need you, your wife needs you, your family needs you. So you do whatever you have to do to preserve your life. You know, look, you don't have time, black people, black men, 
We don't have time to fight each other no more, especially over bullshit dope, bro. We don't have that's played out. We don't have time no more. Because we we can't focus. We can't we because we so busy focusing on the game till we don't see the races come snuff you out and move on and they go on about their business. You know? We we so we so busy fighting each other to where we let the enemy slip right up on us. Take us out. Just like that. You know, first of all, we didn't bring the dope into the country. It's not ours. Actually, we're a puppet in the game. You know we puppets. Hell, every election uh, year around Christmas time, you know, it's a shortage. Then prices go up. The fu- they control all that, how it goes down. They control the whole game, you know. Um, you have to train. And protect yourself as if you were going overseas to fight a war, except that it's being fought in your own backyard. You have to have the mindset that you want to live, that life is worth living. You know, you have to put that in your mindset because that's the only way that you're going to survive through a time or a horrendous time such as this, you know. So make sure you take care of yourself and things that needs to be uh, done and uh, actually uh, addressed. Uh, we have to uh, be on our P's and Q's, as they used to say in the old days. You got to be on your P's and Q's. Or in football, you got to have your head on the swivel. Because if you don't, you allow that enemy to slip up on you and take you out, you know. And, and when you say, "Well, why, why are you, why are you using the term as enemy?" I'm only using that term as enemy because of the actions. They're not showing you the actions of a foe or a friend or a loved one. They're showing you the actions that an enemy would show, or someone who hates you. They show. They are showing those type of actions towards black men in America. You know, it, it's, it's, it's obvious. The racism, the, I'm going to call the police on you from the Karens uh, to the what you doing in my neighborhood. You know, uh, black people, go back to Africa. Go back to Africa. You know, like the, like the Hispanic lady told that white woman after she, after she bust in her jaw, after the Hispanic women bust their white lady in the jaw for telling her to, putting their hands on her, telling her to go back to Mexico, she said, why don't you go back to Europe? You know, why don't you, you know what, we tired of you being here. Why don't you go back to Europe like she was telling Just, just, why don't you just pack your bags and get out? This is not your country. You know, if you're not indigenous, get on out of here. The people don't want you here no more. You know, that's where it, it, it then came to, so. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to play out, but I am saying um, self-preservation. Love yourself enough to protect yourself. You know, it's just as simple as that. Vulpic Radio, we out.